way, thanks on hopping over uh, onto the site, and I promise I'm not gonna take up more than a few minutes of your time, but I'm here today to briefly talk to you about what it's like from going from being a tenant to becoming a homeowner. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Margaret Fox. I've been a local realtor here for a few years now. And, uh, but I don't just sell homes here in our area. I actually live here and I'm part of the community. I am married to a very hard working shipyard worker. And I have two young children on top of running a full-time uh, business as a realtor. So I know what it's like to run a very hectic household. Okay, so I've been doing some research on opportunities that I think would be good for first time home buyers. And I came across a stat that I thought was pretty crazy. Did you know that 68% of tenants are under the impression that you have to have at least 20% down, uh, down payment to be able to buy a house? And I guess as someone in the business, I sometimes just think that everybody knows that you can get a home for way less than that. But since I am clearly wrong about that, I made this quick video to let you know you don't necessarily need 20% down to purchase a house. There are unbelievable programs out there to help people uh, with all kinds of flexible options. Yes, you do still have to qualify for these programs, but some of them can be occupational based, like the VA loan for military is actually a 0% down loan. Uh, there's also down payment assistance programs through uh, like FHA loans, which do as little as 3.5% down. And there are versions of FHA that let you finance that 3.5%. So they are 100% finance loans uh, that you can use so little to no money down. The point is you don't necessarily need 20% down to purchase a house. And by the way, this is no funny business either. Uh, these are actual financing options that I have used with lots of my first time home buyer clients. So if you're interested in learning more about this, please contact me. Also, another thing is for those of you that have like six to 12 months left in a lease and they think, well, now's not the right time. I don't need to call right now, but I'm here to tell you that I don't care if you want to buy tomorrow or in the next three to five years. It's better to go ahead and have that conversation and consider getting pre-qualified with a lender. By the way, I can help guide you through that to know what you're capable of and get a game plan in place. Don't be intimidated. Uh, that's why I'm here to help. That is my whole job. And P.S. You don't have to pay me to help you find a home. And we can discuss that later. I'd love to be a part of your journey. And if you're interested uh, in considering buying a home ever, fill out the form below, schedule a minute to chat about what your goals are. Hey, and if you're gonna be paying somebody else's mortgage anyway, it might as well be your own. Put some equity into yourself, invest in yourself, fill out the form below. I look forward to talking with you soon.